Welcome to Art Bites with the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. I'm Catherine Slogic. I'm the Associate Curator of Education. And today I'd like to share a print with you by artist Carol Walker. It's called John Brown. I came across this print as I was doing research on Bleeding Kansas for Kansas History Month. I found it quite intriguing. Carol Walker was born in 1969. She's a multimedia artist who explores issues of race, gender, and identity. And she's best known for her silhouette works, these very large silhouettes that fill full rooms, and you can see this behind her. Um, she recalls that one of her earliest memories involved sitting on my dad's lap in his studio in the garage of our house and watching him draw. I remember thinking, I want to do that too. And I pretty much decided then and there at the age of two and a half or three that I was an artist like dad. Walker's family moved from California to Atlanta where her father took on a position at Georgia State University. While she was working on her bachelor's at Atlanta College, Walker found herself rather uncomfortable and afraid to address the issues of race. She worried that it would be typical or obvious. Later, as she was working on her master's degree at the Rhode Island School of Design, she, she discovered her voice and continues to address aspects of our society that most of us would rather turn a blind eye to. Her first exhibition was in 1994, and it was one of these silhouette exhibitions. But she also works in gouache, watercolor, video animation, shadow puppets, printmaking, and large scale sculptures. Her work draws on the history of the antebellum South to point out still prominent aspects of American society. Um, one of them being white men at the top and black women at the bottom. Many of her works of the 1990s target some of the celebrated characters and events of abolitionist history. Um, her image of John Brown falls in this category. Um, we can see here John Brown is an, um, um, as depicted by John Stuart Curry, and this is actually um, based on the mural at the Kansas State Capitol. Um, there's been a lot of um, interest in John Brown lately with the novel and the movie, The Good Lord Bird. Brown was an abolitionist. He moved to Kansas um, to fight um, for a free state. He took his name, Osawatomie Brown, from a number of raids and battles that he fought in Kansas pre-Civil War. His final sort of event of his life was the raid on Harper's Ferry in Virginia, where he tries to um, steal guns from the armory to arm black slaves to fight against slavery. Um, we can see here in Curry's depictions that Brown is shown as a hero. He's larger than life, but we can also see that he is sort of a terrifying warrior for his cause. And the Bible that he is holding is an indication that he really felt that he had been sent by God. Walker's um, print actually portrays a particular moment in Brown's life. And this is when he's being sent to the gallows after the raid. Um, there supposedly was an incident where um, a slave mother held up her baby to John Brown for a kiss. And this was um, reported in the New York Tribune. Um, a number of artists picked up on this incident, um, two rather close to the time, Thomas Hoveden and Currier and Ives. And you can see their images here. Um, Brown is shown fully clothed, very calm, um, sort of as a, as a sort of stern hero, um, really reflecting the fact that this point in time, many people felt that he was a martyr and a hero. When we look at Carol Walker's images, we see something quite different. In these versions, the black mother is really the symbol of, the, of strength. She's standing tall, she's fully clothed. We see John Brown um, in one case with a noose around his neck. In both cases, not fully clothed. Um, he seems rather a pitiful creature. 
And as we look at the baby, um, we see sort of a reaction between Brown and the baby in, in, in the print, which is part of our collection. Um, we see that if the kiss actually happens, it would um, really fall on a rather strange part of the baby's anatomy. In the gouache, which belongs to the Brooklyn Museum of Art, we can see the baby sort of pulling at Brown as if they, he was asking for help and Brown is turning away and really not able to give that. Um, by challenging um, these ideas, Walker is really sort of asking us to revisit history. Um, one of the things that she's always maintained is that she's suspicious about the idea that there's just one authentic Black story, and that is the only one you're allowed to tell. For her, she says, the Black experience encompasses many competing and complicated things. And because it has been for so long misrepresented, she plays with the idea of misrepresenting the misrepresentations. So perhaps by casting heroic figures like John Brown in a critical light, she's creating images that really contrast with mythology and asks us to examine history and heroes and maybe consider history from a different point of view. I hope that these images have given you something to think about as we celebrate African American History Month, um, Black History Month, and we hope that you join us again soon. Thank you.